Hello, so in last video we had seen a problem statement wherein we tried to transpose rows to columns using Java transformation. So basically this was, this was the mapping. It was pretty straightforward mapping, source, then Java transformation and target and what are logic we had to use for transposing that rows to columns that was written in Java. Now let's look at the data. So this is the target data and the data which we are expecting is this second result set. Now if you compare that is what we had seen in uh, last video. This fast, uh, this last row, the ID fifth, Ashish Jaiswal, this particular record is still missing. So that's where we left. And in this video, we'll try to finish that. Now, the reason why that last record got left out in target is, now if we look at the logic, Now what it does is it's creating a new row only when old value is not equal to the current value. Now in this case when the old value over here the latest value is 5 okay so that 5 value 4 not equal to 5 and that's when a uh, row gets generated but when id becomes 5 right that time there is no way because that's the last row so over here that's the last id okay after that if there is id number six then five is not equal to six and then it will go inside this if loop but that next row is not there so somehow we had to find out the last row and if we reach the reach to the last row then we have to create the row again for example what i meant was so now here, let's see the total number of records. So if I go back, uh, this is the source, right? So we have total number of records, total 11 records. So moment we reach the 11th record, that is the last record, then no matter what, you trigger the row, okay? Or create the row. So what I will do, let me add the another variable. Let's say int, int counter, and I will maybe initialize that as one, let's say. Okay. And int equal to plus one. Okay. And uh, maybe after this I will add. And if, so if this counter If this counter is let's say 11 that means the last row then you trigger the create the generate row okay and I would delete this guy so let's see compile now yeah, right now I have given that 11 value hard coded will come to that will make it dynamic uh, it cannot be converted to boolean why Okay, again I am doing the same mistake. So assignment operator. Okay, save and let's run it. Let's see, let's find out if this logic is correct. Okay. So ideally we should see five rows, five rows, okay, let's see the output. Okay, still there is a problem, the surname got missed. Now that is because what I am assuming is I had to initialize this as zero. Save. Run. Run. Fire rose. Perfect. Okay. Now the logic is correct 
what are we have written in java now only thing which we have to tackle is we have to derive this 11 value or uh, count of row or count of rows total number of record value dynamically how can we do that so we have to use aggregation like aggregate transformation basically so what i will do uh, let me minimize this guy I will add a dummy record here or a dummy column, dummy field. O underscore dummy. I'll give that as integer expression. I will give that as one validate perfect save now after this I will add to get the count right I will add aggregation okay. incoming fields all these group by I don't want anything and aggregation I will just add oh oops sorry O underscore record count okay and I will give this as integer configure expression count of what ID right validate got passed successfully save it now we have to pass this value 11 to this Java transformation all right and that is nothing but the new value which we have created right but if I if I connect only this it will pass only one row that is we don't want this we want to pass all the rows along with that extra value counter value uh, record count value so for that what we'll do I will add a joiner transformation in between Okay, I will or maybe what I will do, I will add it here. Joiner, 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 joiner. Where is the joiner? Okay, perfect. So this should be, it doesn't matter actually. And NR, let's say JNR temp. Okay. Result config, that's fine. So prefix AGG, prefix XP, let's say underscore and AGG underscore so that it will be easier. And join condition based on dummy column which we added perfect save and now since the incoming value which we just renamed we have to go to java transformation again and validate those values here so let's go back this is all constant or variable now this id will get changed to expression id then this name will get changed to expression name this is all fine this id will get changed to expression id this id will get changed to expression id this name will get changed to expression name this id will be expression id now this guy would be aggregate record count that is the dynamic one this id is nothing but expression id and I guess that's pretty much it. Let me compile. Let's see. Okay, compilation successful. Let's save it. Okay, and 
and uh, let me just before I trigger it let me check the target as well if the field mapping is correct but I guess there is no change over here OID and yeah, this is fine this is all fine let me just go back to OID equal to exponential yeah this is perfect so let's run that So it should again set fire rows and rather it should work dynamically. So if I add one more entry, it should transpose it automatically. We'll try that. Let's first check whether, oh, it failed. Now why it failed? Okay, now I got why it failed. It's good, it failed rather. Now the thing is, okay, let's go back and find out the reason. So let me click on this and let me go to the session log. I know why it got failed. Rather it's good. So something extra to learn. Now if you see here, choose sorted input joiner as data coming from same source. Now if we have two different sources for a joiner, then it makes sense. But Informatica, if, if there is only one source for a joiner, then Informatica expects to use a sorted input. So what I will do, and that's the reason why it got failed. So if I go back and let me select the joiner transformation, go to advanced and select sorted input. Perfect. Save. Run. Run. Perfect, fire rows got inserted. And let's see the output. Perfect. Now what we'll do just for testing, let's add another entry. Maybe let's say the sixth entry and the first name I would add as Sudip. And surname I will Sundar. Okay, so now we have 13 entries and if I run the mapping again, I should say six records and we'll go to that um, session logs as well or the mapping log. So I think I had changed that to verbose. If not, we'll change that to verbose and rerun it. I just wanted to show you how it looks like. So something similar to what we see in uh, Power Center. Perfect, six rows and yeah, see, so nothing is hard coded. It works dynamically, our logic is perfect. Only the last thing before we stop this video is I'll go to Java transformation, I'll go to advanced and tracing level I will change to verbose. I'll save it. I'll run it. Run. We'll just wait for this to get finished so that we can analyze the logs. Just wanted to show you how it looks like when we change that to verbose mode. Okay, let's go back and download session logs. 13. Now if I see here, let's go to the joiner, uh, sorry, Java transformation because that's what we made as verbose. Now as you can see here, it gives input rows and this is the record count, right? 13. So it is appearing as 13 and that's the number of records right uh, in the source file so whatever aggregation transformation we added 
that is giving that 13 that gets passed to Java transformation and that is exactly what we are seeing here all right so basically to achieve that scenario transpose thing number of transformations we need to add like aggregation to get the record count so that our logic will become dynamic then the joiner and since it is coming from same source we had to choose as sorted in input otherwise the mapping will fail then pass all the data to Java transformation and finally to the target Alright, so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video.